in this video we are going to discuss about how to handle multiple exceptions in python programming we know what is exception exception is a runtime error which will occurs during program execution whenever an exception occurred then the remaining statements are not going to be executed that is the program will gets abnormal termination let the program contains 100 statements let 10th statement of the program is an exception so division by 0 this is an exception statement let the 10th statement is an exception statement so whenever an exception occurred at the 10th statement then the remaining 90 statements are not executed remaining 90 statements are not executed the program will gets abnormal termination so now our target is we have to handle this exception in such a way that the remaining 90 statements should also gets executed so that should be done mainly by using two keywords the first keyword is try keyword the second keyword is accept keyword so try contains a list of statements that may causes an exception suppose by executing a particular statement there is a possibility that we may get an exception so those type of statements should be placed in the try next whenever an exception occurred in the try then that exception will be thrown to the corresponding accept block so accept block contains a list of statements that handles the exception simply we will display some messages regarding the exception in the accept block so that is about what is exception handling and what is try and catch and now in this concept we are focusing on how to handle multiple exceptions in python programming so the name itself specifies the meaning a try block can have multiple accept block a try block can have multiple accept blocks so likewise we can write n number of uh, accept blocks so a single try can have multiple accept blocks so which accept block will be executed that depends upon the type of the exception that is thrown okay uh, here we have uh, uh, different types of exceptions like uh, zero division error exception index error uh, next we have type error value error name error attribute error assertion error we have different types of exceptions are there uh, let uh, let the statement is like this division by zero so numerator is any value various denominator is zero value so if this uh, statement is executed in the try block then what will happen is zero it causes zero division error exception it causes zero division error exception so whenever this statement is executed then the control goes to the accept block with zero division error class okay uh, next we have uh, uh, let we have a list which contains uh, three, uh, three elements so 10 comma 20 comma 30 so we can access only three elements now l of 0 l of 1 l of 2 but we are trying to access l of 5 but it is not possible why because here the range means for 0 1 2 only so when we are trying to access l of 5 then uh, index error exception will be thrown index error exception will be thrown so the control will goes to the accept block with index error the control goes to the accept block with the class index error uh, let we are trying to perform uh, some unsupported operation we know that we can perform uh, addition operation on two numbers the result of 2 plus 5 is 7 uh, as well as we can concatenate two strings uh, ram plus babu here we have two strings when we concatenate these two strings we will get output as ram babu but it is not possible to concatenate a number and a string if we try to perform addition operation on a number and a string then it will throws type error exception so the control goes to the accept block with type error class okay and now let us see an example program for this after that we will see the uh, practical implementation uh, let us handle these exceptions 
because these three are uh, uh, most uh, commonly used exceptions. Uh, let me have a try block. Uh, let me have a variable a is equal to 10. Next b is equal to let b value is 2. Next let me have a list l is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30. Let us display two statements. Print of uh, a by b, a by b. Next to print of, let us access an element which is in the range l of 1, l of 1. Next, let us uh, uh, throw the exceptions, except the first exception is uh, 0 division error. This is a class. We know the naming conventions for a class, predefined class. So, the first letter of every word is uppercase letter. So, Z, D, E are uppercase letters. Now, let us display some message. It is your choice. We can display the message according to our choice. So, print division by error. So, we got this uh, error. Why? Because uh, the denominator value is 0. And the uh, next two type of exception is uh, index error. So, index error. Index error. Print index is beyond the range. So, index is out of range. Out of range. Next here, if we want, we can write the default accept. So, this is called as default accept block. So, this accept block can handle any type of exception. It may be zero division error or index error or uh, attribute error or type error or value error, name error. This is called as default accept block. Default accept can handle all the exceptions. So, for name uh, sake, uh, we are discussing this concept. So, instead of all these accept blocks, we can write the single accept. So, this single accept can handle all the exceptions, okay. But it should be the last accept block. We should not place this accept block as the first accept block. So, default accept block should be placed as the last block, last accept block. So, print, just uh, display some message, exception occurred, exception occurred, okay. Now, let us see the last statement, print rest of the program, print rest of the program, rest of the program. Now, let us see the program execution, A is equal to 10, B is equal to 20, L is equal to 10, 20, 30. So, we can access L of 0, L of 1, L of 2. Next, to print of A by B. So, what is A value 10, B value 2. So, 10 by 2 means what? 5.0. We know that in Python, division means it produces floating point uh, number as the output. So, we will get output as 5.0. Next to print of L of 1. So, L of 1 means which element? 0 means 10, 1 means 20. So, print of L of 1 means 20 will be printed. Here, there is no exception in the try block. So, the control will goes to, the control will comes out from all the except blocks. Okay. So, when the except block will get executed, if there is an exception occurred in the try, but there is no exception occurred in the try. So, so, no except block will get executed. So, control comes out from all the except blocks. So, what is the last statement after the except, last except block? Rest of the program. So, rest of the program. So, this message will be printed. So, this is the output. Now, let us write some mistake. Instead of L of 1, let us access L of 5. Let us access L of 5. Now, let us see what is the output. Print of A by B. So, 10 by T. What is 10 by 2? 5.0. So, there is no problem here. Print of L of 5. We are trying to access an element which is beyond the range. So, which exception will be generated now? Index error. So, the control goes to the except block which handles index error. So, this is that except block which handles index error. So, the control will goes to this except block. So, we will get message yes, index out of range index out of range. Next, the control comes out from uh, this except block. Okay, this is executed. Out of all the except blocks, only one except block will get executed. Okay, so the control will comes out from the remaining except blocks. So, what is the last statement? Rest of the program. Rest of the program. So, this will be executed. Now, let us uh, do some modifications. Let b value be 0. Let b value be 0. We are trying to access L of 1 only. Okay. Now, let us see what is the output. So, print of A by B. So, 10 by 0 means what? 10 by 0. 10 by 0 means it is an exception. So, here an exception occurred. So, whenever an exception occurred, then this statement won't get executed. Okay. 
control goes to the except block. So this is which exception? This is zero division error exception. This is zero division error exception. So control goes to the except block which handles zero division error. So what is the message here? Division by zero. So first here we will get zero division by error. Division by error. So we will get division by error as the output. Okay. Division by error as the output. And after that control comes out from all the except blocks. Next rest of the program. Rest of the program. So this message will be printed. So in this way we can handle multiple exceptions in the Python programming. Now let us see the practical implementation. Now let us see the program execution. So try block. Let a is equal to 10. B is equal to 2. Uh, next uh, le let us have a list L is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30. Next to print off A by B. Next to print off L of 1. L of 1. Now let us have accept block which handles 0 division error. 0. So Z is uppercase letter. D is uppercase letter. Whereas E is uppercase letter. 0 division error. Let us display some message. So print off. This is nothing but what? Division by error. Division by error. Division by error. Exception. Rised. Or occurred. Next, let us have an accept block with index error. So, I and E are uppercase letters. I and E are uppercase letters. Let us display some message print. Print. Yeah, I'm sorry. Print. Index is out of bound, out of range. Next, we can write a single accept block which can handle, uh, uh, this is the default accept. It can handle uh, all the exceptions. So, print off an exception, an exception occurred or rise. Now, let us uh, write one more statement. Print rest of the code or rest of the program. Now, let us save the program. Let name of the program is uh, uh, exc. Let us run it. So, 5.020 rest of the code. Here, there is no exception. Here, there is no exception. So, that's why control comes out from all the except blocks. So, here we got message as 5.0. Yellow of 1 means 20 and rest of the code. Now, let us see. Now, let us do some modification. Uh, instead of L of 1, let us access L of 5. Control S. Control S. Now what will happen? Uh, yeah. We got the message as here. Print off A of B. So there is no exception here. So 5.0 will be the output. L of 5 means here we are trying to access an element out of the range. So here index error exception will be raised. So control goes to the index error. So, we will get message yes, index is out of the range, index is out of the range and then control comes out from uh, except blocks, rest of the code, rest of the code. Let us observe the, let us observe the output one more time. So, 5.0, index is out of the range, rest of the code, okay. Now, let us see the, let us do one more modification. So, let uh, B value is 0, let B value is 0, let us assume that we are trying to access L of 2 only. Now, what is the output? Print of A by B means here B value is 0. So, 0 division error except, exception will be raised. So, control goes to this except block. Okay. So, division by error exception raised. So, this message will get printed. And after that, control comes out from the except blocks. Rest of the code will get uh, uh, printed. So, if you observe the output. So, we got division by error. Division by error. Division by error exception raised. So we got this message and then rest of the code. Division by error exception raised and rest of the code. So division by error exception raised and rest of the code. Okay. 
now let us do one more modification uh, one more modification so print off print off 8 plus high 8 plus high here we are trying to perform concatenation operation on a number and a string but that is not possible so type error exception will be thrown but here we don't have except block with type error class so now the control goes to this except block this except block can handle any type of exception so now we will get message as an exception raised and then rest of the code here uh, instead of b is equal to 0 let us write uh, b is equal to 2 so there is no exception uh, from the first two, two statements print of a by b print of l by l2 so there is no exception from those two statements so we have an exception only from this statement so so what is the output now there is no exception from print of a by b so we got 5.0 as the output and there is no exception from print of l of 2 so that's why we got 30 as the output next there is an exception in print of 8 plus high so that's why that exception is thrown to the except block why because we don't have an except block with type error okay so that's why this exception is handled an exception rising this except block got executed an exception rising an exception arises. So instead of that, uh, what we can do is uh, so let us have one more except block. Let us have one more except block with uh, type error class unsupported data type. Okay, print off, print off. Let us display some messages. Uh, addition or uh, concatenation concatenation on uh, member and uh, string is not possible and string is not possible okay control s now what will happen that exception will be thrown to this type error except block so this message will get printed and after that control comes out from the except so rest of the code will get uh, printed if you observe here 5.030 concatenation on number and string is not possible rest of the code got printed so in this way we can handle uh, multiple exceptions in python programming very very easily